black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. All right, y'all, another day, another truck muck, a place called Subdivision, pretty much brand new in my city. I went to high school with the guy who opened this place. He has another restaurant that's been killing it for a couple years. This is his next venture off that, but this is way more chill styles. His other place is like casual fine and he's been killing it for years. This guy does everything proper. He's so talented at what he does. So it's Detroit style pizza. The uh, first and only Detroit style pizza in my city. They also do subs and like they got snacks. So deep fried pickles, onion rings, all that type of stuff. Chicken wings. I saw the chicken wings in there. They were looking nice and crispy bar wings. So I'll have to try those eventually. But today we're just going in with a uh, Detroit style za. You know me keeping it simple with the pepperoni and cheese. But I'm going to bring you down for the real thing. Let's have a little closer inspection and try this out. I'm really excited for this. All right, moment of truth. I do love their boxes. I like their design. Very cool. Over here, all the details. That's his other restaurant, Tomlin. So you can check it out on Instagram if you want. But let's see what we're working with here. All right, I got the small version. Okay. Usually it fills the whole box and it's cut into eight slices. But I got the personal... Pan, I guess you might want to call it like if you're thinking about Pizza Hut but those nice crispy edges I got some parm on there that's stinking it up we got the little pepperoni cups see how hefty she is she's very very hot right now now they don't put the sauce on there um, well sorry normally they put the sauce on top I asked just for on the side because you guys know I'm finicky about my marinara and then we got ranch Sorry, that's a creamy garlic and we got a ranch intrigued to see how the house made sauces are but definitely ready to get into this i'm going to dress up a piece real quick with some sauce but you guys know i don't do a ton of marinara but i guess on detroit style they put it on top so it's a little chunky see how this ranch is looking let's do this do a little pre-drizz definitely looks very 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 home whipped and then i'll meet you on the uh regular cam for a bite <laughs> rocking the sunnies today because it is sunny today it's a beautiful blue sky nice and sunny not that hot okay look at this crusty nice and fluffy kind of like focaccia bread she's piping hot very piping got a uh like that come on now the the bottom is very golden and perfect if i could show you the bottom without sauce going everywhere i would but i can't all right i can tell it's gonna be amazing oh <laughs> That's worth the money. The small size after tax was 23 bucks. But this is, um, this is special to you. This is, uh, not chain independent. With the air pocket in that dough. Very much. Like focaccia bread. A fried pando, kind of like Pizza Hut. Much less greasy. Mm hmm. Like I say, this guy does everything right. Pretty much. I've been to his main restaurant, Tomlin, a few times. It's always very seasonal. The menu changes per the season. All locally sourced ingredients.
And he's been cooking since he was in high school. I think when he was 16 or 17, he got a job. I remember he worked at the hotel, restaurant in the hotel. And ever since then, he's just been on his food grind forever. And he's turbo successful now. I think we should have another food porn moment while I dress up another pea. <laughs> I gotta say that this marinara sauce is very delicious. So I'm gonna add more than I did the first time. And now we're gonna go with the creamy garlic and see how that treats us. Well, look at that. The ooh, secret of the ooh. <laughs> see how this creamy garlic matches up? You can definitely tell that the ranch is super house made. And it's very good. Oh man. That marinara is perfect. Nice and sweet. Just the right amount of herbs. Taste the fennel coming through in that pepperonia. That pull. Creamy garlic kind of just tastes like the ranch, but with more garlic in it. Or with garlic in it. This is a hit. definitely a hit I saw the wings come out they look banging I saw the onion rings come out they look like they have everything like bagel seasoning into the into the dredge which is interesting I didn't see any subs being made But they have one that's like a grinder, an Italian one, that I want to try. And they have a turkey one that I want to try that is on the menu. So when I come back, which I will, I got to do wings and a sub. For show. <laughs> for show. Because if this is this good, I'm sure the rest is going to be good too. Polar pop break. <laughs> Rocking a uh, zero sugar Red Bull actually right now. Time to do up another piece. Mm. That's a good marinara. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's the perfect, uh, it's light, but it's substantial. Perfect balance. Trying to balance her life. I just got done at the gym. I did an hour, hour walk. I'm 45 in the pool. And since it's Saturday, there was birthday parties in there. And they were having pizza parties. And I said, I need pizza too, but I gotta try that new spot. So I earned it. <laughs> Definitely earned it. Also took 15 minutes in the hot tub in the spa. Always got to work that into the routine. <laughs> the ranch is better. But that's probably just because I love ranch, right? We know this. But it is just better.
That's cool though. It's it's attached directly to a, like a brand new microbrewery. So you got the brewery side, people drinking and socializing, playing pool. And they have like nice finished communal like uh, wood, almost picnic table kind of things, but not quite picnic tables. And then they have the food side over there. So kind of get your buzz on and then order some snacks and grubs and whatever with your people. Energizer. All right, y'all, the final countdown, that final piece. Not feeling crazy full, which is nice. On a side note, a show I've been watching called Alone. I don't know if any of you have ever watched it. But it's a game show essentially, uh, but in the wilderness. Where contestants get dropped off at various points, separated from each other in a similar climate. And they get to bring 10 things to survive with. But they're in like grizzly bear territory. One season they have polar bears, cougars, uh, wolves, all that type of shit. And then like deer and whatever. And they have to outlast each other. The final person wins 500 grand. The last man standing. And it is a very, very interesting show. Very entertaining to me. The, uh, the things that some of these people are able to build with very limited supplies is very admirable. Like one dude right now built like a nice little fully enclosed with a door and a stove, like tree hut. Built a canoe with outriggers and everything. Went and set up like um, fish traps with buoys and everything. And then he was able to, with a bow, he killed a deer. And then he built a log enclosed a smoker to smoke the meat. And it's really fun to bet in my head of like who's going to be the winner. And I feel like you can tell pretty early on. There's always about three people that you're like. These three are definitely been a challenge for the win because they're just leaps and bounds ahead of people and like they're so stoic. They don't get overly emotional. They just remain in frame in their in their frame of mind that's like just like so composed. It's just such a, it's an interesting show, show psych, psychologically as well. Because what takes a bunch of people out is they don't know how to be alone. As they start missing like their family and they just start getting all cry guy about like, I got to go home and see my daughter and my wife, which is fine. <laughs> but I mean, at the same time, it's like. You will see them eventually again, just outlast and then take that 500 grand home too, though, homie. Like, you know what I mean? But being all alone in the wild would be such a mentally taxing game. 
especially with crazy wildlife around you like like true predators but it's a very cool show if you never watch it i suggest highly suggest watching it if you're into that shit i've always been into like survivor man and stuff like that so very very cool show all right that was a perfect eat perfect treat i rate that shit like easily that's a nine or 9.5 possibly a 10 like it's just it was perfect it was pretty much perfect and uh, i gotta come back definitely to try i want to try a sub or two subs and some wings for sure because like i said high school homie does it right anyways hope you enjoyed it check out that show if you're into that shit till the next one you know what to do eat good live well stay true have a good weekend